How's it going everyone? Coming up on another pretty big week of PlayStation game releases. We've got a lot of variety in the releases. A total of nine games to go over. We've got some free upgrades as well. A game getting a complete makeover to an extent. A game that was not formerly pretty well received, so we'll talk about that when we get to it, but let's get right into it again. A lot to go over. Let's start things off with a Metal Hellsinger, which is a game that I feel like is generating a little bit of buzz, and as we're getting closer to the release of the game, I think people are getting excited for it. Now, this game does have a demo available on PlayStation 5, so go check that out if you have any interest in the game. Give it a look, and I think for a lot of people, that demo will sell you on the game. Metal Hellsinger notes, Slay to the Rhythm of Metal and Vengeance on an Infernal Journey. Through the eight hells, make them fear the beat. Metal Hellsinger is a rhythm FPS bursting with demons, badass weapons, and heavy metal music. Yeah, an over-the-top first-person shooter along with heavy metal music. I think that's a winning formula for a lot of people, and I think it's something that's very easy to get excited for. You got some Doom vibes going on for it as well. Now let's play through an epic storyline narrated by award-winning actor Troy Baker. Unlock special challenges and conquer the realms of torment to become more powerful in stages and get a leg up on the leaderboards. Fight through fire, ice, metal, and madness from the lead designer of Battlefield Bad Company 2 and you've got an original metal soundtrack to cap things off. Again, Metal Hellsinger will be dropping on September 15th and it will be coming to PlayStation 5. Next up, a game that I've been talking a bit more about recently, that is Blind Fate Idonoyami. A dive into a world that mixes sci-fi and ancient traditions, slash through robots with a trusty katana, use high-tech implants to navigate the surroundings, dodge enemy attacks, and land devastating finishers, reclaim the past following the way of the Japanese samurai in the fantastic period of New Edo. This is a game with a really, really slick visual style, liking the visual presentation, and honestly, from a concept standpoint super unique having this sci-fi theme but also being set in this Edo period the game looks solid it looks like it's going to be a little bit more on the challenging side but if you're a fan of action titles hack and slashers I think this is one that's going to be right up your alley blind fate you don't know yami drops on September 15th next up here's one that is much needed and that is a major update to 13 the remake and also it will be getting a playstation 5 upgrade so a lot to talk about a lot to digest here if you're unfamiliar with it 13 was a game that released back in the gamecube era and it was a first person shooter with this really cool cell shaded art style that a lot of people ended up enjoying then the game got a remake that was absolutely an abomination and was not well received at all and now a major update will be dropping for 13 on september the 13th that's a free update and on top of that it will be getting a free upgrade on playstation 5 if you already own the game the official update message notes to achieve the quality standards and offer an optimal gaming experience a microids decided to entrust the development of 13 remake to the french studio tower 5 hard at work for more than a year on a major update this update will be released on september 13th on that date owners of the original game will receive a free update and enjoy the game as intended the development studio reworked the entire game from the art direction to the ai and added numerous technical improvements all the improvements you can expect were refined art style, enhanced AI, reworked HUD, revamped sound design, 30 frames per second uh, on Switch, 60 frames per second on PS5 and Xbox Series, and then online multiplayer, 2 to 13 players. So it is getting completely refined. It's not a game that I'd be dropping, you know, $40 on, but maybe if this update brings it up to a level that the game is serviceable, you know, once it's on sale for 10 bucks or around that range, might be something to check out, but it's all going to be contingent on how good the update is and if it gets it up to a higher level, because back in 03, when 13 originally dropped it's a game a lot of people really did enjoy and it developed this status as this cult classic so hopefully um the remake is done justice with this update coming out we'll see how it turns out again dropping september 13th along with a free upgrade on ps5 next up we have the narrative driven title in wayward strand this is a game with a very unique presentation style wayward strand is a heartfelt story told in a curious way hop aboard an airborne hospital and meet its fully voiced cast of electric characters as time passes for everyone on board explore the interwoven lives of the patients and staff discover something new on each and every playthrough obviously this is not an action heavy game by any stretch of the imagination it is uh reliant on its characters and the storytelling it's the summer of 1978 and casey is trying to make the most of her holidays when her mom asks her to spend a long weekend helping out at the airborne hospital where she works casey prefers the company of books to people but she agrees secretly planning to write an article about her visit for the school newspaper in the midst of these and many other interlocking and overlapping stories casey spends time with the patients learning about their lives 
lives and as their story unfolds, discovering what she can do to help. So, looks to be more of an emotional, atmospheric, and story-driven game. We'll see how Wayward Strand turns out. Again, it drops on September 15th. Next up, we have the historical tactical shooter in Isanzo. Isanzo notes, Ferocious Alpine Warfare will test your tactical skills in this authentic World War I first-person shooter. Battle among the scenic peaks, rugged valleys, and idyllic towers of northern Italy. The Great War on the Italian front is brought to life and elevated to unexpected heights. Very much a tactical-based shooter. Here you've got six classes based on historical combat roles and build your loadout from a selection of weapons, equipment, and perks linked to those classes, giving flexibility and variety while staying grounded in what real soldiers might have carried at that time. You'll be operating wire cutters, bandaging yourself and wounded teammates, and blowing the whistle to start an assault. One shot can kill, and even lighter injuries can lead to quickly bleeding out. The game notes, Mountain Warfare Tactical Multiplayer FPS, World War I gameplay, built for victory, a phases of war, and authentic World War I atmosphere to cap things off. Asanzo will be dropping on September the 13th. Next up, we have Despot's game Dystopian Army Builder. This has been in early access for quite a while on PC, but now it will be seeing its full release. Guide a puny humans through a Despot's game, a roguelike tactics army builder. Equip your team and sacrifice them through procedural dungeons as you fight enemies and other players. The game has had a very positive reception on PC. 1,623 reviews. 86% of those reviews have been positive, and Despot's game will be making a transition to PlayStation 4 come September 15th. Next up, another pretty notable free PlayStation 5 upgrade, and that is Outer Wilds. It'll be seeing its PS5 upgrade on September the 15th. Now, this is a game that dropped to very, very widespread acclaim. An overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. 36,000 reviews, 95% positive, and 85 on Metacritic. And now it's going to be upgraded even more with a PlayStation 5 release that will be a free upgrade with native 60 frames per second support and other refinements as well. So Outer Wilds is a game you'll be able to check out on PS5 when it gets upgraded on September 15th. Next up, we have Square Enix's latest Voice of Cards title, Voice of Cards The Beast of Burden, a turn-based card battler. The Voice of Cards series are RPGs where everything is shown through the medium of cards. Enjoy a truly unique gaming experience from the mind of Yoko Ataro and many other notable developers as well. The story in the game progresses under the guidance of a game master. The world this story takes place in, including all of the towns, dungeons, and fields, is represented entirely by cards as the player moves avatars to go on their adventure. The outcome of battles and encounters at the many different places you visit, and even Destiny itself will sometimes be resolved with the roll of a die. Voice of Cards, The Beasts of Burden will be dropping on September 13th. And lastly, we have the Rogue RPG and Unexplored 2 The Wayfarer's Legacy. An open world RPG, Unexplored 2 The Wayfarer's Legacy is a deep, slow-paced, immersive open world rogue RPG with a tabletop feel and cool twist on permadeath. Super unique art style here as well. A very, very vibrant and colorful game. The game had a mostly positive reception on Steam. 159 reviews, 77% of those reviews were positive. Hopefully that makes a smooth transition to PlayStation 4. The game notes radical content generation, generative storytelling, systemic depth, legacy systems, perma a permadeath in a persistent world. When your hero dies, they stay dead, but you can choose to return to the same world with a new Wayfarer. Unique presentation It's presented in a unique and beautiful art style beyond what is conventionally expected from a game like this. A stylish lighting system sets the mood and adapts to the time of day and local weather conditions, and you have an orchestral adaptive soundtrack to cap things off. Unexplored 2 The Wayfarer's Legacy will be dropping on September 14th, and that is is gonna do it for me again a bevy of games dropping this week i wouldn't say you have games that are super super marquee but looking at titles like metal hellsinger blind fate ido no yami hopefully 13 the update and the upgrade turns out well and can get that game at a level where it's uh you know easy to recommend because at this point it is not but Nonetheless, that is going to do it for me. Let us know what you're excited for this coming week. Anything going on the wish list, or are you going to take a week off of picking anything up new? Sound off down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.